Hello and welcome back to What's on My Needles. This week I'm going to be showing you how to place beads onto a knitted object and how I close up the gussets on my thumbs. So let's start with the with the gloves. So you, as you can see, the cuff is done, the hand is worked up, including the thumb gusset, and it's bound off for the, for the thumb. These are fingerless gloves, so this is as far as the thumb is going to go. Now, at this point, I've worked to one stitch before the thumb opening, and in my patterns, that means a lift, a right lifted increase. So I'm going to Normally I'd be stitching into the stitch on the needle, but in this case I'm going to the stitch underneath, pulling it back up on the needle, and knitting it, knitting through. And now, for the tricky part, this is a cable without a cable needle and without reordering the stitches first. So, I'm going into the second stitch on the needle, knitting it. I'm coming back to the first stitch, knitting that one, and then pulling them both off together. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing, the lift, lifted left increase, and that finishes the thumb. And then this will work for a couple more rows, and then be bound off at the top. Now for the second project. This one is a is the angel toy that you've seen on a couple previous episodes. And I'm working on the Christmas tree half. Now, at this point, I'm at the last line of needing to add the beads. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm at the beginning of the row. I'm gonna go ahead and knit one. And then grab teeny tiny crochet hook. This is a size three crochet hook and it is small enough to go through the center of a four millimeter pony bead. So I'm going to put the crochet hook into the stitch, pulling it off the needle, pulling the bead on, pulling the stitch back on the needle, and then knitting the stitch as normal. So I'm gonna do this in one more time. So get the bead is on the hook, hook goes into the loop, the needle comes out, hook and loop go through the, the bead, goes back onto the needle, and then I knit. Now, there are other ways to get beads onto knitted work and especially onto crocheted work, but most of, of them require pre-stringing, and this this way I don't have to pre-string my beads and the beads sit nice and vertically on a stitch. That's it for this week's episode, and I hope to see you next time on What's on My Needles. Bye!